Hello everyone, this is Salar and you are watching Smart Code. So in this tutorial, we are going to cover two very commonly used CSS properties, margin, zero auto and text align center. We will learn usage difference between these two properties and we'll see when to use margin, zero auto and when to use text align center. Are you ready? So let's check it out. So like I said earlier, margin, zero auto and text align center are two very commonly used CSS properties. And both of them are actually used to center align elements horizontally. And here margin is the name of the property. Zero and auto are the values assigned to it. Similarly, text align is a property name and the center is a value that is assigned to it, right? So we will discuss both the properties one by one. Let's start with the margin zero auto and take a look very quickly to the HTML and the CSS that I am using in this tutorial. In the HTML file, I just have a paragraph with some text and go over to the CSS file and here we see pretty basic CSS. I am resetting padding margin and applying different back colors to the HTML and the body tag, right? So margin zero auto is basically a shortcut and it combines four different properties. So let's break it down. And these properties are margin top, bottom, and margin left and right. Right, so whenever you write margin zero auto, you are actually setting these four properties. So you can write margin zero auto as we usually do, or you can break it down into top, bottom, left and right properties. Both are exactly the same. Now the interesting thing here are the values. Assigning zero to the top and the bottom property simply means you are not adjusting any margin to the top and to the bottom of an element, right? And the auto means if there is a margin associated with any element, then your browser will automatically divide it equally to the left and to the right of the element. And when the margin is equally divided to the right and to the left, then the element will align itself to the center. And it sounds logical. And now the question is where to apply and when to apply margin zero auto. So where to apply? We apply margin zero auto to block elements like paragraph or a div, right? And when to apply? We apply margin zero auto when there is a margin associated with a block element. So the margin is important. If there is no margin, it won't give any effect. So let's jump into the code and apply it practically. So I have a paragraph and this is how it looks in the browser. What you see here is a paragraph block and a block with unspecified width takes up the whole width of its parent. So it's a default behavior of block elements and I have already done a tutorial on that. So the paragraph is stretched to the edges of the body. Let me give a different background color to the paragraph so that it becomes more clear in the browser. And here you see again, the whole width is taken by the paragraph and as a result you see no margin associated with this paragraph and when there is no margin you won't get any result from margin zero auto so all you need is to make this block smaller by specifying the width and when you specify the width the rest of the space to the right becomes automatically blocks margin so let's now specify the width to the paragraph And now here in the browser, you will see the block has become smaller and the empty area to the right is the margin. So it's now a proper time to apply margin zero auto. And there you just see the result, right? Our block is now centered horizontally within its parent container. And the margin is set to equal values to the left and to the right. So as a rule of thumb, you just need to remember two things. Number one, margin zero auto is used to center align block elements horizontally and number two the block must have some margin otherwise it won't work right i hope you understand now the usage of margin zero auto and you can use it to center align 
any block element including the HTML body. Right, so let's now talk about text align center. And using text align center, you can achieve two different results. Number one, you can align text to the center within the element, and this is the original purpose of this text align property. And number two, you can center align any line element which is inside the block element. Right, so here you may have noticed one difference between these two properties. Margin zero auto is for block elements and text align is for inline elements, right? Okay, so let's do some practical with the text align center property. So the first usage is align text to the center within an element. And luckily, we don't need to write extra HTML here. I will just apply text align center to a paragraph and the text will be centered inside the paragraph. And here you see in the browser, the text is center aligned. So it's very simple, right? Now the second use is we can center align inline elements which are inside the block element. So here we need to write some HTML, take a block element like a div, or you can take a paragraph if you want, and inside the div put some inline elements like anchor tags. And here in the browser, you will see the anchor tags are left aligned, right? Now in the CSS, we will set text align center to the block containing inline elements, like div in our case. So target the div and set text align to center. So now all the inline elements inside the div gonna arrange themselves in the center of this div container. Let's check out the result in the browser. And here you see the inline elements are now centered within the div, right? And I hope you learned the usage of margin zero auto and text align center from this video. I will see you around and thanks for watching.